we all eat. Um, <laughs> and it's something we can all relate to. I hope we all eat, right? Um, and so the East Asia medicine uh, perspective on food is, it's interesting because there's some correlations with our Western medicine perspective, and there's also some differences. So I'll kind of talk about both of those. Um, but the main viewpoint is that we look at the digestive system as kind of a stew pot. So if you imagine like a cook pot over a fire, um, and in the morning, it's like a campfire. You've been sleeping all night, it's just coals. Um, so you really need to get that digestive fire going. So your first meal of the day is very important. Um, you know, breakfast is very important and it's good that we're all eating it this morning. Um, <laughs> So there, a, a lot of the kind of digestive tips are very like, you know, moderation. Like, don't drink tons of ice water because especially in the morning, your digestive fire is really low and then you're pouring a bunch of cold stuff in there. It makes it that much harder for your body to heat it up and cook it to digest. Um, yeah, and drink like small amounts of liquid. Don't totally flood your digestive system. That's why um, in Chinese medicine, we're big proponents of cooked food because it's partially processed. It makes it that much easier to, for your body to digest and absorb. And if you think about like uh, a lot of cooked greens like kale or collards, um, the, a lot of the vitamins in those are actually more absorbable when they're paired with a fat. So cooking them in a little bit of oil actually helps your body absorb it. So you kind of have the, both the Western and Eastern perspective there. Um, yeah, interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. and one, one thing that we don't think about a whole lot in uh, this culture is like food temperature. So that's something that, you know, sounds really weird and foreign, but it's actually, it's interesting. It's something that we kind of do naturally. So um, does anyone, can anyone think of like a holiday spice? Cinnamon. 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 Yeah, cinnamon is like the classic holiday spice that you might have in your like, dessert or in your um, hot cider, and that's actually a really warming spice, so it's best uh, consumed in the cold winter months. So even though we don't necessarily think of like, oh, it's cold, I need to have like a hot temperature food, we kind of do that anyway. Um, so I thought it would be fun to kind of play a guessing game. So in Chinese medicine, food temperatures are usually like hot, warm, neutral, cool, and cold, but we're just going to guess hot or cold because Get all those gray areas. We'll just go. <laughs> One or the other. You guys can guess. And I have ginger candies. Yes. Um, which are very sticky. So be careful with any loose fillings. <laughs> referral. Referral potential. Um, so, first one, cucumber. Anyone know? Cool. Cold. Cold. Oh, yes. Oh, I saw it. There are too many. I know. Just give me a candy. Right there. Just give me a candy. Thank you. I have more. Everyone, it's like elementary school. Everyone gets a candy. So. Oh. <laughs> I give away my secret. Is that um, I, was going to? I know. All right. So how about ginger? Hot. 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 Yes, it's hot. And actually, it's interesting. Have you? Has anyone had sushi? And you have ginger paired with sushi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So they have the little pickled ginger that you're like, is that decorative? Should I be eating that? <laughs> Um, so sushi is really cold, it's raw fish, right? And it's cold rice, and ginger is really hot. I think I'm here, I'm just randomly tossing this out. Um, so you can actually, they're paired together to kind of balance the meal. So you have cold raw fish, and then you have the hot ginger, and the ginger actually specifically helps people digest seafood, so it's kind of a cool, cool thing. Um, all right, seaweed. Ooh. This is a hard one. Hot. hot. No. Uh -huh. no, sorry, cool. it's cold. Cool. Here, take my candy back. <laughs> no, that's it, no more candy. Um, well, let's move on. Let's do something yeah, else. We're just not talking about this. Okay, alcohol. Hot. 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 Yes, definitely. Cold. Cold, cold. no, cold. hot, hot. <laughs> so think about like people's faces, they get red, they get flushed. Two yeah, minutes, perfect. okay. Um, so alcohol, hottest of the hot. Wow. Um, Fireball and vigor. Yeah. Even hotter. Hot. And vigor. So, so, coffee. Everyone's hot. Hot. That's also hot. I know. It's delicious. Mm. But um, coffee, it like raises your pulse. It like makes your body a little warmer, a little hotter. 
Okay, <coughs> so here's a little, I think easier one, like cayenne, spicy foods, hot, hot, hot. yes. That also <laughs> makes you really flushed and hot, right? Um, so yogurt, dairy products. Cold. 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 Yeah, yogurt is really cold. In fact, uh, this, is, this is something that's very hard for me, but one of the foods that you shouldn't eat if you have any like damp symptoms, which damp is like nasal congestion, you know, allergy symptoms. I know. Don't say it. I know, I know, I don't want to say it, but I have to say it, Rebecca. It's it's dairy products, it's yogurt, and specifically ice cream is the worst. Ah! Because, because ice cream has all of the bad things. It's frozen, it's like the coldest of the cold, right? It's dairy, so it's got that extreme damp. <laughs> it's sweet. It's overly sweet. It's really sweet. And mm. it's really high in fat. So it's like the perfect combo of bad things if you have so allergies. So alcohol and ice cream. Uh -huh. Yes. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, you should check it out. <laughs> and a McDonald's cheeseburger. <laughs> but a Diet Coke. That's, that's another thing that's anymore. interesting is Chinese medicine doesn't like exist in a bubble. It has to do with where you live. And where we live is actually very damp. So we don't think of it as being like tropical rainforest monsoon kind of damp, but most of our weather other than this spring and awesome. summer, is pretty soggy. So um, practitioners will see different conditions. Ah, I'm out of time. Okay. <laughs> Based on the environment, and I see a lot of jam here. All right, so I will hand out lots of little things. Please leave three up there. Okay. <laughs> you, want you don't need one. All three are for her. You guys can pass yeah. these. I got the cheapest. Okay. And free to open them. acupuncture's open them. hot, right? Acupuncture's hot. <laughs> Probably more neutral. Uh, that I don't so open the box. Yeah, don't be shy. Snakes are gonna jump out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Anne.